Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Aranza, and if you haven't seen my lovely face before, welcome. On my channel, I do lifestyle, beauty, and gaming, so stick around. And occasionally, I'll do YouTube style advice and tips videos like this one. So in today's video, I'm going to be teaching you how to create your own channel banner. I've gotten questions about how I created my channel banner and what apps I use and the editing process and stuff like that. So I wanted to give you guys what you guys wanted. Again, this was requested by a subscriber. So I hope this really helps you out with your channel. So let's get on into it. So the app that I use is Fonto. So we're going to click on Fonto. And then Fonto is very useful for thumbnails, for channel banners, for graphics. Literally everything, you can use this on your tablet, on your phone, it's a mobile application. I totally recommend it, it's so useful, you just need it for YouTube. Anyways, ooh, The Last of Us 2. Anyways, so we're going to go to the search bar and then we're going to click channel banner template. Click on images and then you're going to see this, this channel banner template. And we're going to add to photos, we're going to save that, and then we're going to go back, we're going to go back to Fonto, then click on the camera icon, and then click on photo albums, all photos, and then the template that you just chose. Okay, so we have the template in Fonto. Let me explain the template for you. So you see how it has the edge, it says desktop max tablet in the middle and mobile so basically what this means is if you put the channel the YouTube channel on the TV basically this whole square is gonna show up yeah and the TV icon is in the corner very small so the whole thing is gonna show on the TV but desktop only the middle part the whole thing edge to edge is gonna show And then lastly, the phone, mobile. The darkest, darkest, almost black area is going to show. And this says text and logo safe area. So basically your text, you want all your text to be within that area. And you don't want it too big or too small. You want it to be able to be, to be readable to everyone that goes on your channel. Later we'll get into that. But anyways, we're going to go to Google again. And then we're gonna go to Google again and then we're gonna go um, the theme of my channel the theme of my channel is basically purple purple blue and mauve light pink color so we're gonna go with purple and then I'm gonna click aesthetics background I'm gonna click on those images and basically, I'm going to go through all the images that I like and I'm going to save for the channel banner. So say add to photos and you're going to want, if you want to make the same channel banner as me, a similar one, not the same one, you're going to choose four to five images that you see that you, that you like. Add to photos, I like this glittery one, and then... Ooh, I like this. I like the crystal one. Okay, so we found our images. And let me let me choose one more. Let me choose one. Um, let's do this one. Let's do the bubbles. Okay, add to photos. And then we're gonna go back into Fonto. And we're gonna click on the three lines in the left corner of your screen. And then add image and go to photos and basically choose all the ones that you just downloaded add image again do the same thing click on every single one that you just added so we have all the images inserted on the template basically you're gonna try to resize everything and try to 
um, try to make it within the whole bar because we want to cover it to be safe in case people play your channel videos on the TV you, again you want the whole gray area the whole thing to be covered we don't want none of that gray stuff okay so we're gonna size it and don't worry if the image goes outside of the gray it's fine because if you save it it's nothing's gonna happen to it it's fine so we're gonna be working on sizing the images to however much you want really doesn't matter okay okay now that I've aligned all the images and even if the images exceed the gray area you're gonna see why it doesn't matter once I get to this step so we're gonna click on the three lines again and then we're gonna add item instead of add image so the top option you're gonna click on the square and basically you're gonna size it to okay the width the height okay you're gonna size it so that you're able to hide the gray the gray area and you can choose whichever color you want um, the one on my channel banner right now I believe I chose a dark blue color in this one I'm gonna choose a white color so we're gonna do that and then add image again same thing literally same thing on the other side size with height now you're gonna save image as a PNG as you can tell I like to eyeball it basically meaning I do trial and error so if I ever do an error in this process, I will literally go back and do the same steps again and again. It's all about experimenting with what works and what doesn't work. That's basically how I realized if my font is too big in size or if it's too small. I had to see, have an idea of how to do this. I've done this multiple times, so that's why I kind of know where to put things and the certain areas I have memorized. <laughs> Here's the collage that we made. And this is the background. So you're gonna go back to Fonto. You're gonna click on the camera icon and then reset. And then go back to the camera, photo albums, all photos, and then the Okay, we're back. Um, I fixed it because <laughs> that, that would have bothered me. Then again, this is a demo, so I'm not going to use this, but you know what I mean. So, you know me. Now, we're going to be adding the text. So, this is very fun. So, if you guys want me to do a tutorial on how I get my text, my fonts, I am able to do another tutorial for you guys. Um, let me know in the comments below if you want me to do that. There is an abundance of fonts that Fonto gives you. I like to download on a website called dafont.com. Basically, you are able to download so many more fonts. Um, it's, it's endless. The possibilities are endless on there. So some of these fonts are not included in Fonto, but I personally download them off of this website. I'll gladly help you guys out if you guys want me to do another tutorial. So anyways, the font that I use for my channel banner right now is Press Start 2B. And I like it because it's kind of like a retro video game type of vibe. The font is already kind of small because I've already used it before. And I like to set it at, I think, 0.25. 0.25 is a good size for your title and then you can move it here so I clicked on move and basically you can see these look see if I put this my name over here it's gonna center it and you can move it up and down just move it a little bit up the text you can click on style and here click on stroke and basically this is how I get my outline on my text 
And you can change the colors too. You can change it to gray, the text, the text itself, you can change it. And also, if you look on the bottom, you see these red and green lines. So basically, let me explain it to someone who doesn't take art classes <laughs> or who hasn't had any experience in that. Basically, there's these red hues, green hues, and blue hues. So basically, you can move and adding green will kind of give it more of a green hue. Hence, the other ones as well, red and blue. Same thing, you can change it. Ooh, I like that. It's like a teal color. I like that. You can change it to whichever color you want. Customizable. I love Fonto so much. And it's free too. This application is free. I I can't believe it's free because, man, this is amazing. Anyways, you can change the stroke, the outline. And I have it at 10. I think it's good. You can change it to whichever one you want. But I personally have it at 10. I like it that way. Yes, I'm gonna change it. Okay, and then we have it centered. Okay, so you have several options with your channel banner. You can choose to put what I have right now on my channel banner. I believe I have it Havelica. Havelica Bold. New videos weekly. And then I have the lightning bolt emoji okay there you go and then same thing so you're gonna go on it style click the stroke i love having an outline on my fonts when it comes to channel banners because you know the background is already as distracting as it is so you really want it to pop out so the audience is able to read it from a good amount of distance okay done Okay, and then we center it, there you go, that's basically how I do it, or you're able to do this option as well, so you're able to put the categories of the types of videos that you make, such as my, my channel is all about beauty, lifestyle, and gaming, so I would choose to put lifestyle, beauty, and then gaming. So your audience knows what cha what what videos you do. Okay. So instead of the new videos weekly, he could choose to put this. I am gonna make it a little bit bigger. Okay. Okay. And then I'm gonna put the emoji. <laughs> But those are your options on what to put on your channel banner. You can also, also put your socials on here. I personally don't have it, but you can if you want. So you go to images and you click on the Twitter PNG. So basically PNGs are basically the logos that are transparent. And basically go and get all the social icons that are transparent. I personally already have them in my gallery. Okay, and we're back. So I have the icons right here and basically place them in the corner. I think a size 25 is appropriate for this. And now you can add your handles like mine. This is my Instagram one. And then my Twitter. Basically same thing, you're gonna size it to however much you want. Okay, and then you're gonna save it as a PNG. Letters are beautiful. You'll find letters all around us. You'll find them on billboards, in a book, or in a newspaper. Most letters are boring, but not if you draw them by hand. There you have your new channel banner. So now all you're gonna do is basically airdrop this channel banner to your laptop. Or if you have an Android, you can basically email this banner to yourself or Discord it to yourself. I don't, I don't know. You do you. But basically, with channel banners, I suggest that it's a, an experimental process. There is no right or wrong way to do it. It's all your style, up to you. You could even have a plain and simple channel banner, I believe. 
Emma Chamberlain's channel banner is so simple. I mean, look at this. <laughs> there is no limit to your creativity when it comes to channel banners. Anyways, so that is basically how you do your channel banner. If you made it to the end of this video, just hit the subscribe button and hit the bell notification so you know every time I post. And if you enjoyed this video, just let me know in the comments below. And tell me any other YouTube tutorials and tips I am able to do for you guys. I want to help you guys out. And I hope this channel banner is, is popping on your channel. <laughs> This is my style of channel banners, although I'm gonna start changing it soon. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed the collage type of banners. Thank you guys for making it to the end of this video. Also, kind of a brief update before I end this video. I bought a new tripod, so... Yay! I bought a new tripod and I'm using it right now currently and I'm so excited. I am so excited. Um, I am able to link the tripod down in the description for you guys, but I totally recommend it. I mean, it was a good chunk of money, but I am okay with it. I mean, it, it had five stars on Amazon. And I personally wanted to invest in it because I know that this tripod is going to last me a long time. I mean, you're able to use it for basically GoPro and iPhone and your camera, basically. It's very versatile. I'm not sponsored by them in any means. I wish I was, but I'm not. <laughs> but anyways, that was a little channel update. Anyways, but thank you for sticking around. Thank you so much. And I will see you in my next video. Bye!